The winner is... What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome to part two of our amazing mystery crate opening sponsored by our amazing friends over at Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Before we jump into this one, uh, first of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to them. They did, they they put some amazing stuff in here. We've still got some amazing stuff to open. We're obviously going to go through that today. We also have a giveaway winner that we have to announce at some point in this video. I'm not going to tell you when. Come on, you got to watch the whole thing. Uh, also, you may notice my voice is feeling a little little weird two things one it is very early in the morning because i'm trying to get this done so that way you guys can see it as soon as possible two though uh i've been sick for the last few days so i haven't really felt the best i've got a lot of crap going on and so i apologize if i sound a little bit sick but i'm here i'm having fun because we got a lot of stuff to open now as we saw in part one there was some incredible value in this uh mystery crate that they provided for us we still have have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these mystery convention boosters. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Let's let's throw it up here. We have got seven of these mystery booster convention edition, uh, which I cannot wait to jump into. We do have the one that we're gonna be giving away right up here. Uh, gonna be amazing. We have a Strixhaven pre-release kit that we still have to open, and then we have these two mystery items. We have no idea what's in these. Uh, generally speaking, these historically have always had packs in them. We'll see what they have today though, because honestly, I've got no idea. It could be, it could be amazing stuff. It could be singles. I have no idea. Uh, but we are going to spread these mystery boosters out just a little bit. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and jump into the first one here. I cannot wait. As we saw in the last, uh, or in part one of, uh, this mystery crate opening, these do have the uh, the really, really cool test cards in them. Uh, if you didn't know what those were, basically they're like, they're kind of silly, but the idea was that they were test card or like versions of test cards that they were throwing into these convention packs that you could either use or not use in fun games, obviously not tournament legal, uh, but very, very fun nonetheless. Uh, but these, these uh, mystery packs do have a very wide range of cards that you can see. Uh, and something we didn't talk about actually with these was pack structure. So as you notice, the first two cards here were white. These two will be blue, and then we'll kind of run through the full colorless blood brand or wow, blade brand. Uh, Tendrils of Corruption. Here's our red Azra Blade Seeker. Gutshot, not a bad little card. We've got green Orin Reef Invoker combo attack and then here we have got a multicolor card uh an artifact and then i believe our rare which is toxin sliver all the way back from legions look at that whenever a sliver deals combat damage to a creature destroy that creature it can't be regenerated that seems pretty good uh i really like that oh and an expropriate uh very very solid card all the way back from conspiracy i believe uh, very good card and then our test card is bombardment a sorcery for one red until the end of the turn cards you own that are not on the battlefield lose all creature uh, all card types excuse me costs names and abilities and become red sorceries named missile that cost one red with missile deals two damage to any target i love that that's very very fun uh wow what a that was a really good pack actually let's do one more of these and then we will jump into uh one of the other things that we have to open here uh and i really do uh, again these these little mystery packs i love i absolutely love them you never know what you're gonna get uh i believe and i think we mentioned this last time i believe the highest value card uh is is mana crypt in these uh it does have the little planeswalker symbol we talked about that last time as well uh but these are so sick i love 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 seeing so much variety all in one pack unflinching courage a fantastic card goblin burrows another great one bloom tender as our rare a very cool card one one for two for each color among permanents you control add one mana of that color to your mana pool that's actually a really sick card wow and a teferi temporal arc arc mage as well very 
very, very nice pack. My goodness. Uh, Golgari Death Swarm is our test card here. Three of black and a green for a 4-4 with flying and vigilance. That's a pretty straightforward card, to be honest, but I really like that. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, so... What do we want to open next? Like I said, we do have two mystery packs. We also have the pre-release kit. I think what we'll do is we'll jump into the uh, pre-release kit first uh, because we, I mean, Strixhaven's really sick. So I want to I wanna see what we can get here. There's also some really good promo stuff, obviously, that you can get if I can open these. Uh, somebody mentioned on the last video, by the way, very correctly, uh, that I should have a knife on me at all times. Uh, that would be helpful. Truthfully, that would mean uh, I was prepared though, and that's not likely. So uh, here we go, guys. We've got the amazing little die here. Uh, beautiful little dice. Uh, don't look. Mm, I know what it is. Do you know what it is? No, you don't. Um, all right. Uh, so this is obviously the lore hold, uh, in case that wasn't clear. Strixhaven did their pre-release kits a little bit different, we will say, uh, in the sense that uh, each one was basically uh, centered around a particular college in Strixhaven. So this is obviously the lore hold version. Uh, so we're going to get a little bit of a pack here with a bunch of lore hold cards, ideally. Lore hold Pledge Mage, the Campus spirit summoning so the idea being that these are are going to kind of help push you in the right direction for your deck uh ideally into that lore hold position now that doesn't mean you have to play that but uh this definitely gives you a uh, wow crackle with powers in here uh gives you a little bit of a nudge in that direction which is perfectly fine all right Let's look at the packs. Uh, these, I believe, yeah, we have got five packs here. So uh, normally I believe there's six packs in these pre-release kits, but because they give you uh, the little like uh, uh, nudge pack, we'll call it, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they only give you five packs because they're expecting you to probably use at least the majority of the cards included there. Expel is a nice one for, uh, for Lorehold. Dueling Coach, not bad. Stormkill. Uh, closing statement. Ooh, Baleful Mastery. Not a bad removal spell here, actually. Uh, exiling a creature or planeswalker is obviously very good. Alternate costs, not bad either. Oh my gosh, and a Mind's Desire Mystical Archive. Holy crap, what a pack. And we also have a foil. Not that it's a great one, but Burog Befuddler. Uh, not a bad little pack. Wow. Okay, strong start. Uh, these pre-release kits, I think in general, do have some decent value in them usually. Like, it's usually one to two cards. It's not a ton. Uh, it's not like a booster box, but they generally like to throw in at least one or two uh, really nice pulls, uh, at least in my experience. I have opened up quite a number of these pre-release kits over the years, and my goodness, Basic Conjuring, we have that's like our third one out of this mystery box, I believe. Quandrix Apprentice, ooh, and a Vine Glimmer Snarl, not bad. We've got a Negate Mystical Archive and then a Foil Emergent Sequence. Not a bad little pack. Uh, guys, as we get through this, uh, I just want to say again a huge thank you to Grand Slam. If you guys do not know who they are, please go visit their Facebook group. Uh, that is linked down below. You can go ahead and join that. Hang out with them. They do, uh, they're, they're starting to do a lot more in the magic world where they uh, used to focus a little heavier on Pokemon. Uh, they still do, so if you are a Pokemon player, feel free. But uh, they are opening up significantly more back into magic, uh, which is great. Conspiracy Theorist. Thrill of Possibility, and then a little Pest Token. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, two more packs. Uh, but yeah, if you're a Commander player, they do Commander tournaments. I want to say it's every Thursday. I'm not 100% sure on that, Josh, or uh, anybody at working at the store. Feel free to correct me in the comment section if you're watching. Uh, but it is a, a really, really fun environment to, to go hang out, go play some games, have some fun, meet new people. Uh, and obviously, they're really... Oh, wow. For the Lorehold uh, deck, that's really good. Selfless Glyph Weaver, uh, very nice. And a counter spell, I like it. Um, yeah, it, it really is just a nice environment, great place to play uh, if you are interested. So please feel free. Uh, it's a really fun, fun time. All right, let's see, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic, guys. Let's see what we can do. This has honestly been a pretty solid pre-release kit regardless. If I was playing Lorehold, I would feel fairly confident at this point. Uh, we found some really nice cards that already work with it, so 
Not a bad idea, uh, but let's see what we get. Verdant Mastery, not the best. And then a Defiant Strike, also not that exciting, but that is okay. All right, guys, it is time. We have got the promo card, of course. We are gonna leave it in the packaging right now just because there's nothing else there, but let's see. Ooh, upside down. We have got Necro Blossom Snarl. Uh, absolutely fantastic little pull here uh, because these, these lands, any kind of dual lands that you get in a new set, especially if you can get the promo version, generally it's not bad. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. We've got the little stamp there that you can kind of see. I love the new stamp, by the way. It's a little bit different than what it used to be, obviously, uh, but it is really, really sick. All right, guys, I think at this point we are going to announce the giveaway winner for this mystery booster convention edition pack. Uh, cannot wait to, to announce this, but I just want to say beforehand, Thank you to everybody who participated in the giveaway. I like to do a little bit of a giveaway with these, not only to give something back to you guys, but also because, uh, you know, Grand Slam put all this together. This is really about supporting them and opening up some cool stuff, but I want to share that with you guys. Uh, and so having you guys comment your favorite card down below and then being able to give something away to one of you is just something really special. So I really want to say I'm very appreciative of that opportunity uh, and hopefully you guys get something cool out of this pack. But the winner is Brandon R. Brandon actually mentioned that his favorite card was Foil Greed, uh, which is actually really cool because I, I remember in editing the video, I was like, oh, Oh, that's got to be worth something and I found out it wasn't which is fine uh, but it's a really good card and uh, obviously a really sick pull but Brandon on top of that also stopped by Grand Slam not too long ago he said last time he was in Rock Hill he did stop by uh, he said he didn't I believe he didn't get to play uh, yeah, didn't get to play, but he really liked the atmosphere. So I hope next time, Brandon, if you get to stop by, that you're able to sit down, play some games, meet some new people. Let me know if you're there. I'll come hang out and play some games with you. I'd love to. So congratulations, Brandon. I will get with you after this video uh, and get you that mystery booster pack. But congratulations to you and thank you to everybody else who entered as well. Let's keep going, guys. We got more stuff to open. I think we are going to open up one of these little mystery packs here. We have got uh, two of these left. The first three, uh, there were five, I believe, in total uh, that we we had for this mystery box, and uh, they were really, really sick. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, I see some cool stuff here. Uh, obviously, we have got uh, a draft booster of uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, Commander Legends, which is a really sick one, and then a Kaldheim Collector's booster as well. I think we'll go in this order. So we'll start with Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, what a cool set this is. Obviously, one of the newest sets. Uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt is coming out very soon, so I'm excited to see what that has to add to standard, but Adventures in the Forgotten Realms really added a lot of uh, new kind of styled mechanics and styled decks that we didn't really get to see before uh, with dice rolling, with the dungeon mechanic, a lot of really interesting stuff. Uh, Mind Sorcerer, Chaos Channeler, Dungeon Crawler, and our rare Rogue Class. Obviously these class cards are actually really sick. The last one we actually got a foil, uh, was it night class or whatever it was, but really, really sick uh, uh, pull there. Happy to see that. I don't know that rogue class is necessarily the best. I don't know how often that gets played, but uh, very, very sick. All right, Commander Legends, a very cool little draft set here. The idea was that you could draft a commander deck Preordained, very, very good. There's a lot of really good heavy hitters in this list, or in this uh, set, actually, so I'm very excited to see what we get. These are obviously quite larger uh, packs than we would normally see. Command Tower, very nice. Uh, but very, very good stuff in here. Meteor Golem, our first rare Body of Knowledge. Not super exciting, but not bad. Hamza, uh, Kedis. Uh, a foil marble diamond is not bad at all. Uh, not the most exciting pack I've ever seen of Commander Legends, but not bad. I think the most expensive card I own uh, is actually a Commander Legends card. It's uh, Jeweled Lotus, uh, but it is the extended art foil edition of Jeweled Lotus. I've got three or four Jeweled Lotuses, and uh, that is, I think, the most expensive card I have. Uh, Kaldheim Collector's Booster. I always love to see a good collector's booster in here. The value of these is generally off the charts. Elderfang Venom is our first rare. Oh, heck yes. What a pool. Goldspan Dragon. Extended art. Absolutely beautiful card. That's very, very good. A foil glorious protector as well. 
a Moretti uh, of the Frost, a Full Art Blight Step Pathway, which does have the uh, the Seer Step Pathway on the back there, a Foil Maja uh, Showcase, and then Rune Forge Champion Extended Art Foil as well. That is a very good pack. That Goldspan Dragon crisp 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 all right guys we've got uh looks like five of these mystery boosters left i think what we'll do uh, is we'll open up a couple more of these we'll open up that last mystery pack and then we'll finish off with just the last few of these mystery boosters i really like opening up these mystery boosters so i'm spreading them out as best i can uh because they uh you really don't know what you're gonna get you could get so many great things out of these sea lock monster dark blast Ooh, dredge what a cool mechanic dredge is uh, a lot of people hate it a lot of people love it you can go either way on that one <laughs> uh the crowd goes wild kiora's follower blossoming sands a rith the awakener very cool old card we've got a little whitening up here that's a little interesting uh serendib afrit and then one with death instant one mana you lose the game <laughs> <laughs> what a silly card oh my gosh I love that that's really funny uh, I have no idea the value on that obviously values do pop up on the screen guys if you missed it uh, it's uh, you can rewind and check that out but I do like to put the the value if they're over a dollar I put the values up on the screen that way you guys can kind of keep track of the value make sure that we're not uh, missing out on anything those values by the way are TCG market value uh, which is generally not 100% accurate but it does give you just a decent representation of you know maybe where roughly that value sits uh, generally it could be a little bit lower could be a little bit higher you can you never know baleful strix very very nice little card juggernaut Ooh, Dictate of Erebos, also a pretty solid little pull there. That has a lot of combo potential. And then a Phyrexian Arena. Wow, this is a black pack for sure. Uh, Phyrexian Arena, very, very good. Large pox, as opposed to small pox. I love that. Uh, sorcery, four black. Each player discards a card, then loses a life, then sacrifices an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, a land, a planeswalker, and a tribal permanent, then exiles a card from their graveyard, then puts the top card of their library into their graveyard, then removes a counter from a permanent they control, then gets a poison counter. Wow. What a card. <laughs> Smallpox, if you don't know, is an actual deck. Uh, it's a very good deck, in fact. Um, but it's, uh, it obviously doesn't do what that does. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to jump into this last one, and then we have got three of these mystery boosters left. Let's see what's going to be in this last little mystery uh, pack that we have gotten from Grand Slam. Uh, and guys, again, as we're as we're kind of getting close to the end here, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys for for being a part of this experience. It's such a great all of these are collectors boosters. Are you kidding me? Two Kaldheim and a Strixhaven. Wow. All right. We'll start with Kaldheim. Um, all of this is really uh, an amazing experience and to be able to share this this opening with you guys is such a special thing uh giving stuff away doing some fun things like that uh and working with such a great partner on this it's it really is humbling it's a really fun time uh you know we're just a very small time youtube channel but it's great to have such amazing support from not just you guys but the store everybody pact of the serpent rally the ranks extended art cyclone summoner foil Swella Ice Shaper Showcase. Ooh, Valky God of Lies. I believe this is my third version, or third full art Valky slash Tidbalt. Uh, I absolutely love that card. Uh, the Freezing Flame Foil Showcase and Skimfar Avenger uh, Extended Art. Wow, oh wow. And a uh, Tidbalt Cosmic Imposter uh, little, little thingy there. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh, emblem. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. All right, let's jump into the other Kaldheim pack here, and then we will have a Strixhaven pack uh, afterwards. My goodness. So much value here, guys. Uh, it's so fun to open up a variety of things all at once. Uh, it's really fun to open up a booster box and do that, but obviously there's very particular things in mind when you're doing that. Bears of Lidjara, not super exciting. Faceless Haven, pretty good. The Raven's Warning uh, foil. Call the Forge Master, Haunting Voyage, Full Art. Look at that artwork. Holy crap, that's amazing. Uh, Ready the Frost, Foil Showcase, uh, Arnie, Arnie? <laughs> Broken Bow, Full Art Showcase, or not Full Art, excuse me, Foil Showcase, and then Giant Wizard. Uh, but, you know, when you open a booster box, you kind of know what to expect. <clears throat> Obviously, with a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 
I'm being sick really quick. Uh, obviously, uh, with with a mystery crate, you really have no idea what you're gonna get, and that makes it so much more fun because you just, you never know. You could get amazing stuff. You might not get much, but thankfully Grand Slam is very, very uh, nice to us uh, and very sweet to us, and they put quite a lot in here. Foil Sparring Regimen, uh, Blight Mound, Deg, the, the Titan, uh, Strategic Planning, technically an etched foil, uh, oh, Tezzeret's Gambit. I do know that one. That's the only one with, like, Phyrexian <laughs> mana. Foil Village Rights. Foil Harmonize. And that is it. That wasn't the most exciting of those, but, guys, we're coming down to it. We've got three mystery packs left. Uh, again, Brandon, congratulations to you, my friend. Thank you so much. I'm glad you were able to stop by the store. Anybody that would like to, Rock Hill, South Carolina is where uh, Grand Slam is uh, calls home. It's a fantastic little area. It's a fantastic little place. Please come stop by, hang out with us. Let me know you're going beforehand. I'll come hang out. We'll uh, we'll have a game. I'll, I'll build a commander deck for somebody uh, and we'll, we'll hang out. Mindstone, Ancient Den, and an Animar Soul of Elements, a very cool commander card, speaking of, uh, with Inachus Insect, Inachus Insect, uh, one and two blue with a, for a two one with buyback. Uh, you can pay one of blue, you may pay an additional one of blue as you cast this spell. If you do, uh, put this card into your hand as it resolves. Very interesting. Flash Flying, when you cast this spell, draw a card. So this is actually a draw spell on a creature spell that you can repeat. Uh, very interesting, I kinda like that. All right, guys, two more packs left. Let's see what we can get. Uh, I love these mystery boosters. Again, I, uh, I've opened up quite a bit of the non-convention edition of these uh, because they weren't crazy expensive, but there was some really good value in it. And I got very lucky, uh, very, very fortunate because a lot of the time I would buy a box and I would get a mana crypt. Uh, I think I ended up with like three or four of them, uh, which is kind of ridiculous because it's a very high value card. Uh, Terminate, Scoured Barons, Aura Shards, a very good card. Selvala, Heart of the Wilds, not a bad little mythic rare here. Uh, absolutely love that, very good for mana generation. And then Wrath of Sod. I love the pun. Uh, two, a green and a white. Put a mana bound counter on all creatures. They lose all of their abilities and become lands with tap add, uh, add one mana of this card's color. That's very interesting. I really like that. Wow, that's kind of cool. All right, here it is, guys. We're rounding it out with our final Mystery Convention Edition pack. This has been such a great experience. Again, this is obviously our second of these Mystery Crates. If you'd like to watch the first one, please check that out on the channel. Uh, we, we had a really fun time with that first one as well. We got an entire Aquaria booster box out of that one. Impact Tremors isn't bad. Uh, and just had a fantastic time. Thank you so much to Grand Slam, High Spire Mantis, Burnished Heart, Eater of Days, all the way back to Dark Steel, 9 8 Trample Flying. Uh, wow, when it comes into play, you skip your next two turns. That doesn't seem ideal. Uh, <laughs> Meandering Tower Shell, a nice little card. And then Impatient Iguana is the last card that we open. A 2 1 for 1 and a red. If it is in your opening hand and you're not the starting player, you can reveal it. If you do, you become the starting player. Wow, that's really cool. This also has haste. That's actually kind of sick. I like that, guys. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, with that, we have officially opened up all of the product. We've given some product away. We've had an amazing time. Guys, thank you so much. It is such a pleasure to be able to open up some amazing product for you guys. Uh, obviously, getting, getting to add all this stuff to my collection is also quite fun. Any excess stuff, I do sell off on our TCG Player store. You can check that out via our website or just head over to TCG Player and search It Resolves. But guys, thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. Grand Slam, you're the best. I cannot wait to do another one of these hopefully next month uh, but until then I will see you guys later I hope you enjoyed your amazing week and I hope you enjoyed the amazing mystery crate opening I'll see you guys again very soon hi guys